it's always entertaining when hypocritical celebrities make asinine political statements while living untouched from reality in their ivory towers. George Clooney and his Muslim wife Amal have been very vocal with their disdain against Trump where they continue to blast our president as a xenophobic racist for his migrant ban on people from terror-infested countries. But after the couple found out they were recently expecting twins, their tune has suddenly changed after being directly threatened by the very same Muslim refugees they spent countless hours and resources advocating for. The Clowanis got their first true taste of Islam last year after coming home to find their swanky Lake Como Italian vacation spot completely overrun by thousands of Muslim refugees. Images of their once opulent village shocked the world as the beautiful countryside within weeks had been transformed into what looked like a third world country, with trash and human waste strewn all around. Since their vacation home was overrun, the Clowanis have been living in the English countryside, where the safety of Mal was their first concern after learning that she was pregnant with twins. But the peace and solace the Clowanis sought away from Muslim migrants has been destroyed in recent months as now England has been transformed into a Sharia swamp, with authorities now believing there's 23,000 known jihadi terrorists residing in Britain. Now in a move steeped in completely hypocrisy, the terrified refugee-loving couple have just fled to the untired states, due to threat of security concerns at their England estate. Life and Style magazine reported, Life and Style has exclusively learned that George Clooney has recently made plans to move back to LA, for the safety of his family, after the latest spate of terror attacks in England. He doesn't feel like Amal and the twins are safe living in the English countryside, an insider says. He's determined to move his family to LA, where he feels much more secure. As soon as Amal found out she was pregnant, he hired former Secret Service agents to assess all his properties and make recommendations for improvement, an unnamed Clooney insider told the magazine. His mansion in Studio City, California, was deemed the most secure, and it's within minutes of an LAPD station. The insider went on to say that that Clooney has received serious threats against his safety in recent months and didn't want to take the risk of something happening to his twins in terror-infested England. He doesn't feel like Amal and the twins are safe living in the English countryside, the source told Life and Style. He's determined to move his family to LA, where he feels much more secure. Looks like George Clooney's love affair with Muslim refugees is quickly coming to an end. Last year, he was very vocal with his praise and admiration of German Chancellor Angela Merkel and went on to lecture the untired states for not doing enough to help Syrian refugees, saying that 10,000 a year was too low and wanted numbers similar to Germany's. Breitbart reported, in an April 2016 interview with the BBC, Amal Clooney criticized then-Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump's plans to build a security wall on the U.S.-Mexico border, telling the outlet that the plan does not represent U.S. values. George has also been an outspoken critic of Trump, telling The Guardian in a March 2016 interview that he believes Trump to be a xenophobic fascist and an opportunist. He previously described Trump's immigration policy proposals as idiotic and intolerant. Clooney owns several homes throughout the world, including a massive estate in Lake Como, Italy. The actor has previously taken extensive security measures to keep his home in Italy private, and in 2015, local mayor Robert Pozzi reportedly imposed a $600 fine on anyone found trespassing near the actor's property. In July of last year, a makeshift refugee camp was established in Lake Como after the Swiss government decided to close its southern border with Italy. Dozens of refugees arrived from African and Asian countries were housed in tents close to the Clowanis home, with a local tour guide telling the Daily Mail that the refugee camps were a big problem because of the huge numbers of refugees who are arriving all the time. Looks like humble pie will be on the Clowanis many for some time to come, as their England mansion is now the second home they've been forced to leave due to Muslim refugees. Funny how reality always trumps rhetoric, isn't it?